to ground, but inside the 22. Now the Reds will have to watch their discipline as they come wide again to Munro. And it's intercepted by Rod Davies, the fastest man on the paddock tonight. Only a torn hammy can stop him. Don't say it, Mardo. First try of the semi-final intercept to rocket Rod Davies. Well, you could see that intercept coming a mile off the red. The Blues were just looking to stretch it wide. It was Lockie Munro. One, two, three Blues loose on the outside. That's how you take intercepts. You take a risk. And Davies has got the reward with five-pointer under the post, about to be seven. And Brett gets the kick away. Awkward and kick. Cooper will... Pick it up, 15 from halfway. Got rid of Munro. Oh. And he's dying, oh. still oh. going, still going. Throws it back on the inside, Kemp away. Quade Cooper, brilliant. And what about the backing up from Ben Tappawai? How did that happen? Quade Cooper, that's near impossible. We see him do it on a regular basis. Incredible stuff. Have a look at it. Well, he goes to fend here. That's fair enough on Lockie Munro, a noted non-defender. But that, the dummy, the audaciousness of that one, with Albie Matthewson all over him. McAllister says forward blast. Brett doesn't even have a go on Tapawai. And Tapawai just kept chasing. This is a great fend. He's supposed to be a wimpy 5'8", but I guess it wasn't a wimpy winger. And down they go. Dummy one, dummy two. Oh, super. Good pick up from Tapawai. Oh, well, it... Stephen Brett was completely flummoxed as to what he was supposed to do and just the Samo as the halftime siren sounds in the background. Blues, can they come up with some points? Larry! Oh yes, what a finish to the first half! Well, the Reds went to sleep. Maybe they thought, oh, well, that's halftime. We've heard the hooter. And Chris Lowry, he scored against the Reds in week 13 and he has scored right on halftime. What a moment to make the big play. Oh, just so easy. Lowry did magnificently. The big stride. He was ready to fend someone. There was no one there to fend. They go to the back. And Higginbotham taps it down to Genia Cooper. Bringing Davies in. Rod again. Davies! A double to Rocket Rod. A set piece try. So it's Higginbotham. Cooper. This is the first time they've been able to do this from a line out because they haven't had enough ball. Davies just scorches. Braid on that occasion. Oh, oh he's been Seven. swamped, Holmes. Might be time to give it to Quaid shortly. Now the forwards want to continue to rumble. No, out the back it goes to Quaid Cooper. Puts on a bit of footwork. Quick hands and now Davies hat trick. Oh, oh, oh. Right, Davies. Three tries in a semi final. Oh, it was power pace on that occasion. Try if he used his full abilities. Just a glance. Look at Will Genia there. Knows exactly what his capabilities are. It didn't take a call. It was a glance. That's all it takes between these two, Genia and Cooper. They've been playing together since they were 16 years of age. And Brett. Over to Larry, who scored that try just before half time to really give the Blues some hope. The foul gives it to King. 18 on 18. Smiley, Payne, Payne stands, delivers, gives it to Gray, Daniel Gray. Out it goes to Bernie Ranger from a standing start. Easy target for young Ben Daly. Oh, this is a good sign for the Reds. The fact that they, are not, they have not stopped tackling. They don't want to give away a try like they did at the uh, end of the first half. Siren sounds, Roka Foco. Over it goes to Kano. And it's gone forward. And that pretty much sums up the Blues' night. So they'll be called back. The Reds are marching through to their first ever Super Rugby final. It's their fourth semi final. And they've finally gone through to the decider. 30 points to 13 after they led by 15 to 7 at half time.